So let's say you want to create kind of a complicated geometry like this and that has a gap in the middle of some sort of complicated shape. Um, so how do we do that? So what we're going to do, go over here. Um, so you would create your complicated geometry here. Um, I'm just going to kind of make this up. Um, Spin this out, down, round. Just kind of mess around here. Kind of push this in. Um, push this guy in. Oops. Um, push this in a little bit. Dot. Uh, that's all right. That's that's pretty good. Um, so we're gonna go here. And then we're going to extrude this, this direction, however much you need to do. And then we draw the shape of our um, sort of complicated insert on this. We draw it straight on. So whatever that was supposed to look like. So let's say it looked, I don't know, something like this um, and like that. Something kind of interesting. Okay. Um, then I uh, extrude this out. Okay. Okay. But now I want to create um, that kind of saddle here where the other side looks exactly the same. So how do I pull that off? Well, what you can do is you can select this face to create a sketch. And we're going to create a sketch on this plane. Now remember that kind of throws up like a sheet of like wax paper up against it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go here to create and we're going to go project. And what this does is it is going to project all of the geometry from back here onto my new sketch. Um, just like there's a big powerful flashlight on it. And we hit OK. Um, and then I hit finish sketch and um, all I need to do now is select click and hold shift and click the second piece and extrude that out. And um, this allows us to kind of create, um, create things across gaps. We create kind of an interesting looking chair there. So that's how to use project geometry.